Hi, I'm Annalise Days and welcome to my Video Jug Series Models Corner. Now on today's episode, I'm going to be taking you through the steps to get Tyra Banks' cheek and lip look. So right now I've got my base on and my eyes done, but I'm going to prep my lips. This is a little trick that I learned from basically being on the road and stuff. You get some olive oil, you get some sugar, highly granulated, that's always the best. Literally mix it together, get a nice little bit, pop it on your lips and rub it in. Mm. The beauty of it is, is that you can lick your lips afterwards and they feel nice and soft. Mmm, perfect. Those are gonna be ready for me to add my lip color later. So the cheek step is literally two steps long. We are gonna start by taking a nice pinky, orangey color, and that's by NARS, and it's called Exhibit A. This stuff is amazing, and I know I've said that a lot, but I don't say it unless I mean it. Look at this fabulous bright color. Now I know that Tyra Banks is a big fan of blush. She loves the stuff. So don't be too shy, but at the same time, be careful because it is quite bright. Start by just rolling it around the area. It always helps when you smile as well. And the other side. Up next, it's all about the highlighter. Now, the great thing about a highlighter is that it does what it says on the tin and literally highlights your fantastic cheekbones. I'm gonna be using this one from MAC. Literally, we are going to take a little brush and just slide it along the top half of your cheekbone, so like right here. See that? And then we're gonna blend it in. Blend, 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 blend. And the other side. And don't be afraid, because you can always blend it in afterwards if it looks like it's a bit too much. And as an extra tip, I also like to add a little bit of highlighter just under the brow bone. It just ties it all in nicely. So just there. Blend, blend, blend. And there you go. My cheeks are looking fabulous. Now it's all about the lip color. Tyra Banks absolutely loves red lipstick. So I'm gonna show you how to recreate that look. First up, you've got to start with a lip liner. I'm not the biggest fan of lip liners, but when it comes to bright colors like red, it's definitely needed because you don't want it smearing all over your face by the end of the night. So this one's by Rimmel. Just gonna follow the natural line of your lip. Remember, it can be quite messy on the inside as long as the outside of the line is neat. So that's it for the lip liner. I'm looking a little bit crazy, but now it's time to fill it in with this amazing classic MAC Red. Now, MAC is one of my favorite lip colors just because I find that the pigments um, are really, really strong and they come out really nice on the skin. Oh, looking nice. So what I do at this stage, if it's a little bit messy, is I take a Q-tip and I just neaten up the edges. So that is sufficiently neat and I've got a couple more tips for you. I like to take a little bit of concealer and go around my mouth just to make sure that there's no dark areas and it also makes the lipstick pop a little. I have no clue whether it's an official makeup tip, but I do it anyways. And my very last tip, but by no means least, is to make sure that you don't get lipstick on your teeth. It's not a good look and all you've got to do is this little movement. and then you should hopefully be ready to party the night away with no lipstick on your teeth. So if this has ever happened to you, you've got a bit of lipstick on your teeth, make sure you click the like button and show us some support. You can also subscribe to Video Jug, as well as getting involved on the Twitter. That's Video Jug, as well as tweeting me personally. I like a bit of banter. Next week, I'm gonna be showing you how to get the Kelly Rowland eye makeup look. It's gonna be fantastic, so make sure you stay tuned. See you then.